check out my breakfast. Bacon, egg, cheese, muffin, kiwi fruit, coffee. What more could you want? I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna eat this for a second. I'll be right back. Whoa. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday morning. Oh my God, I'm excited for this vlog. Let's just take a moment. How did you guys like the one hour long holiday vlog? <laughs> I just felt like that. I know it sounds so stupid, like, but it just feels like a real big achievement and I'm really proud of it. I've been reading your comments all morning. Like it literally only went live less than 24 hours ago for me right now. And there's already comments on there being like, best vlog ever. Like oh, I love the one hour vlog and it just makes me so happy because it is a lot of work, but I like want to do it for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna have a moment of applause and appreciation for the one hour vlog because that was so much fun. But back to this week and back to today and back to today's vlog or this week's vlog. I am so excited because my holiday is over, which I'm sad about, yes, but I'm not really that sad about it because it means I'm back to work and I'm so excited to get back to work. I have, I feel so re-energized. I feel so re-motivated. Like I know if you saw the last vlog, you would have seen, I had a bit of an internal, you know, like struggle going on. I hadn't set myself up very well. I didn't have good routines and habits in place. And I know that I function best that way. Like I am just wired like that. I, I do so much better with a routine and habits built. Like I just do better. And I wasn't set up that way, but this week we are set up. We are so set up. We are set up for success. I'm so excited. I missed all of my clients. I missed everyone in the free community. Like I missed all of it. And I'm just so excited to get back to it. This week, you guys are gonna like, obviously come with me the whole week. We have lots of fun things to do this week, but you're mostly gonna see me back at work. Like I'm just so excited to be at work. So you'll see a lot of like email writing, client meetings and that kind of stuff. Like I know it's probably super boring, but you know it, it's just so I just love it I love it so much I love it so much and like I do know what it feels like to not like your job and not be so motivated and excited in the mornings to get up for your work like I do get it I know what that feels like but it just feels so good to not feel that way on a Monday morning so anyway this morning I got up my new wake up time kind of varies I know that's like you know against everything of like have a routine and stuff. But the point of it is I have windows now. So my window to wake up is between six and seven. So sometimes Boston will wake up at 5.55 in the morning. Okay, we're getting up then. Sometimes he'll sleep through to 6.50. Okay, we're getting up then. And then in the last vlog, you saw me move all my stuff into the spare bathroom so I can like actually get up, have a shower, get ready, which is exactly what I did this morning. Amy was still sleeping and I took myself down the hallway and I brought my towel with me and my warm clothes and I jumped in the shower, I washed my hair, I did a get ready with me, we filmed TikToks, all sorted and breakfast made and she only just got up like a few minutes ago. And so like I didn't disrupt her sleep. I was still able to get everything I needed done, like done in the morning and I'm just feeling really productive and great. So let's hope this feeling continues for the rest of the week, hey? Okay, I'm starving, so I really want to eat the rest of my breakfast, but I just want to um, talk to you guys for a second about some of the comments you guys are leaving. I know in a couple of vlogs ago, we started doing highs, our version of high and lows for the week. So we're doing highs and highers, if you don't know what that is. And you guys have actually been amazing. I asked you guys to like tell me and or share with me if you wanted to, if you felt comfortable, what your highs and highers were for the week. And you guys have been so open and so beautiful about it. Like I'm learning things about your families, about your friends, about your work. And like, it really, really, really helps me feel connected to you guys. Cause, cause technically right now I'm talking to a camera, but I just know that like, you know, I know stuff about you guys, like real friends. So I imagine that when I'm talking to the camera. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you. And like, I, I see, and I understand how vulnerable it is to like share the kind of things that you guys are sharing in your comments and in the DMS and stuff. And I want to tell you how much I appreciate it and tell you how much I love it. And it makes me want to keep sharing all of this parts of my life because you know, I, I feel like we're, you know, friends where we're sharing together. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. And that I love the highs and highs, and I think we should really keep them going like for forever. Imagine if we're all like 80 years old and we're all just sitting around watching a vlog on a Sunday night, all still sharing our highs and highs. But, but at 80, we're like, well, you know, my great grandchild graduated from college today or something. I don't know, that's probably, I don't know if the math works out on that, but you know what I mean? Like, wouldn't that be cool? Mmm, this is so good. Holy crap. 
Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of this breakfast and then it's time to start. It's time for our work day to start. Okay, I know I said I was gonna go to get to work, but um, Amy works at the, new, the cafe now, as you guys know, and she brought home like cafe level chocolate croissants. I mean, I give her perks, she gives me perks, like. Mm. Okay, it is like 20 past four in the afternoon. I've been working all day. I've had such a productive day. I got like, I got so much work done. I touched base with everyone I wanted to speak to. I've like pre-edited content, batch created the next week's worth of content. Like I just had a really, really, really productive day, but it's 20 past four. Amy is out and about at the moment, but she's gonna be home soon. We're gonna go for a walk with Boston. But I thought before that, I would actually give him a little bit of a treat. We've been trying to do more like engagement activities with him. So these are things that like, they're like little Little puzzles or games like that Kong ball I bought him a couple vlogs ago just to help him like stay active and like work his mind and stuff and we have a puzzle for him right and when he was a puppy he could not figure out how to do it but he knows how to do it now he's really good at it my friend actually gave us another one that they were not using they like literally it was still in the box I'll show you in a second and she was like I've never used it with my dogs you can just have it so I was like oh my god okay so I'm gonna try it out for the first time with Boston now okay I just have to get it out of the car so this is it here it's the it's by the brand Outward Hound, which low-key, very, very good name for a dog product brand. And it's a puzzle. So there's these little like trap doors, I guess, that he will have to figure out how to lift up and I'll put his treats in there. So we're gonna give this a go. Oh my God, it looks so cute. I feel like he's gonna love this. So these just like pop up. It's like that easy, but he'll have to figure out how to like get them up, right? This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, I filled it with a bunch of different treats and like some of his normal food. So let's give it to him and see if he can figure it out. You did it! Good boy! No, 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 darling, darling, don't eat that. Oh no, Boston, that's not the treat. Underneath it's the treat. Oh, what yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 ye
obviously had the high number. Mm -hmm. so, Get ready for the most boring movie you've ever watched. <laughs> I, I do not pick boring movies. So I get to pick the movie tonight while we watch dinner. <laughs> you said while we watch dinner. Hey guys, it is Tuesday afternoon, late in Tuesday afternoon. I'm sitting out in the garage. Amy is here. She's doing her like work things that she does. I don't know. I think she's hanging up a hook for me. I am sitting here and just editing a little TikTok. I filmed like a brand deal this afternoon. Um, so I've got to edit that and post it and get it up. And I just thought I'd come sit out here and hang out with Amy. We have like an old school CD player because <laughs> Amy still has CDs. I know she's that old. I have this box here. Amy wants to show you. That whole box there. All CDs. Filled with CDs, right? Half my audience is not going to know what a CD is, honestly. <laughs> anyway, so I literally just come out here if I have things to do and like sit with her while she does that. I also bought out the book that I'm reading because I was like, oh, when I finish that, I might want to just sit and read my book. But yeah, tonight is going to be super exciting because I'm meeting up with Danielle and Paige, my two besties, and we're going to Harry Potter trivia. So I'm going to have to go inside soon and get ready for that. So I don't know if you remember from a while ago, um, a few vlogs ago, we bought um, our cat an automatic cat feeder and we never got around to actually setting it up in time. Mm. So Amy's having a play with it now and we're gonna see it go off in like one minute. Amy set it for like a one minute timer. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Mm. I, I hope he's not like afraid to eat from it though. That's the thing. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> tune and slowly just open the next compartment <laughs> oh my god oh, is so, is so cute unexpected. it's about quarter past five now and my friends have just messaged saying they're on the way so i need to hit the road i'm on pen duty tonight for trivia you have to bring your own pens because it's post covid and i don't really own much harry potter stuff but i'm in slytherin house so i have this green milwaukee like jumper it's an old one from amy and then i do have this slytherin beanie from when we went to the harry potter experience which we vlogged a few vlogs ago so so i am gonna wear that because it's like the only harry potter stuff i have which i think looks really cute <laughs> okay it's time to go for dinner with the girls and play some harry potter trivia see you sweetie have the best harry potter time i will thank you <laughs> bye bye so a little while ago, Amy and I actually went to one of these trivia nights um, as like a bit of a date night. It was really fun. It was a Gilmore Girls themed one, right? And we worked so hard. We practiced for like days. We fired off questions like, and nobody knows Gilmore Girls like us, right? Like we, I, I would say that we've watched it like hundreds of times, right? And when we got there, we were schooled. We were stumped on like the second question. Like it was so freaking hard. So my hopes are way lower this time. We're just going for fun. Okay, I just arrived. The girls said they're already here at the table and they're like looking at the menu. So it's time to go. Um, Danny's shown up in her Harry Potter scarf. It's actually really cute. They have this really cute little like Harry Potter themed menu for the night and the girls have already started on watermelon margaritas and I'm getting a poly juice potion. Cheers. Cheers, biggies. Okay, this is just a classic margarita, but it's like marketed as poly juice potion, mm -hmm. which is really fun. But the bottomless wings for our dinner tonight, which is gonna be so good. So Paige just convinced me that I need to keep drinking with her. And so I just messaged Amy and she's gonna pick me up instead so I can drink. It's about time and I just wanna show you guys our team name. I did come up with it. The Who does Harry save from the Chamber of Secrets? Harry witnesses a prophecy made by Professor Trelawney. Who is the servant she mentions? Third, in the third one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, must have that's where. What spell is used for unlocking doors? Hey! <laughs> All of that training paid off. <laughs> Who did Harry's copy of the book Advanced Potion Making originally belong to? This is going really well. <laughs> We're going to need it. <laughs> Harry obtains a crucial memory from Professor Slughorn in the Half Blood Prince. What is it in Half Blood I know Prince? what it is. I was never going to get there. Yeah, that one I only knew from recently just watching them, I think. Which dragon does Harry face during the first task of the Triwizard Tournament? Can I get the pink punk mascara? 
martini. That's the Pink one. Pink martini. Can I get the howler? I'm on my second <laughs> margarita. Okay, Danny just scored the other teams and we got ours back and we're crushing it. What are we on? We're already on 11. Look at that. What's the this? order of proceedings again? It's Dolores Umbridge, right? Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Oh my god! What? Wow! Thank you! Ready? Cheers! Wow, we, we tanked on this round. No! That is not how you spell it. How do teachers carry the spell? Expect their patrons. How does Umbridge punish the students in Dumbledore's army after she finally catches them? Okay, I, I've lost count. I think this is our fourth drink. Actually, I, think. I did have two margaritas. Oh yeah, true. Paige is way ahead of me. Hey, Amy's <laughs> here to pick me up. I'm going home now. Bye. Hi. Hello. Thanks for picking me up. Right. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning and I'm just about to get dressed because we are heading out. But I wanted to show you what arrived last night. So like right before or right after I left, Amy said that a gentleman showed up with a bunch of flowers for me and they're actually from um, like our little community. So if you saw the vlog last week or the week before, I think it was a week before, I volunteered at like our community event and I was doing social media coverage and stuff like that while Amy was working the cafe and they sent me a bunch of flowers just to like say thank you so much for like doing it and like it wasn't paid or anything I just volunteered because I wanted to like you know give back to the community and do something like worthy and yeah they sent me these beautiful flowers and they're in like the most beautiful like glass vase like they're just stunning anyway so <laughs> I came home to them last night but Amy called me while I was driving there and she was like you won't believe what just arrived for you so yeah and they smell incredible but about last night I did not plan on drinking that much with the girls I obviously drove there so I didn't plan on drinking but I was there and I had a margarita and I was like wow this tastes so good and then Paige was like you should keep drinking and then I messaged Amy and she, I asked her if she would be able to pick me up but we have to go pick up my car today because we left my car there anyway I've got a bit of a headache this morning so that's what I deserve. But waking up to these definitely made it all better. Guys, good afternoon. It is Wednesday afternoon and I've been working most of today. Amy and I went to a funeral this morning, which was a really beautiful celebration. So we were very grateful to be um, invited to that. And then I've just been home working most of this afternoon. I'm about to jump onto a masterclass because it's Wednesday night, which means it's a masterclass Wednesdays for my little community. But I'm early, so I'm just killing time before I have to like jump onto that Zoom. And I was telling Amy today, I was like, oh, I really want a new hobby. Like I went through this like sewing phase where I was like, oh my God, I want a sewing machine. I'm going to make my own clothes. And it was like so friggin' hard. And so I gave up immediately. So I was like, maybe if I sell the sewing machine I bought, I can buy all the supplies I want for my new hobby, which is scrapbooking. I just feel like I would really enjoy scrapbooking. Like I just really feel like I would enjoy it. <gasps> I also have a bit of a headache which I think is payback from last night. So I deserve it really on a Wednesday, I deserve it. But yeah, I just think scrapbooking would be so much fun and I could just like sit down and like put a movie on with like a cup of tea and like do some scrapbooking. And then like on a Sunday morning, I could wake up, have some breakfast, another cup of tea, scrapbook. Like I just think it'd be really fun. I feel like it's my kind of vibe, scrapbooking. If you guys are into scrapbooking, let me know. Let me know, what's the sitch? Where's the scrapbooking community at? I imagine that they're probably on Pinterest, just like, you know, knowing the whole like platform. Oh my gosh, cannot stop yawning. So that's what I want my new hobby to be, I think, is scrapbooking. And like, you can get like cute stickers and like, you'll get to draw things. I don't know, I just feel like that's really fun. And what a beautiful like little pastime to do, you know, cause then you've got this cute little scrapbook. <gasps> Like a keepsake, really. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get through this masterclass with the rate at which I'm yawning right now. But tonight is gonna be really fun because it's the last masterclass before our challenge kicks off. So my company, it's a like content creator coaching company. And we have a bunch of new and up and coming beginner creators all learning how to like better their content, enter the industry, learn how to do brand deals, all of that kind of stuff. And I help coach them and guide them through it. And every Wednesday we have a free masterclass for anyone. They don't have to be part of the community. They don't have to have like paid for any of the services or anything like that anyone can join it and so tonight is one of them but we have a challenge starting which is like this 14 day content creator boot camp <gasps> and it starts on monday so this is the last one before the challenge starts and i'm so excited for it so tonight's masterclass is probably going to blow out in time it's supposed to be an hour but it never is just an hour it's usually like an hour and a half if not like 
sometimes even two hours. But I just love hanging out with them and talking to them and like hearing how their day was and answering their questions. And like, they're just such a fun group of people. Tonight's one I know is definitely gonna blow out because we're doing little mini audits on everyone's like profiles and pages and stuff. And we're helping like clarify their niches and get them like really clear in their mindset, like going into the challenge. So this one's gonna be really fun, but it is gonna be like very content heavy, I think tonight. Actually, you know what? I know what will pet me up, BRB. This will pet me up. Let me get a straw. I miraculously want all of my tiredness and yawning to like go away now. Oh, and also over lunch, I was catching up on um, a bunch of YouTubers that I have like, you know, not seen their videos in ages. So I caught up on all of Jess Conti's vlogs and she is pregnant again. She's due like really, really soon. And then I just caught up on Elle, Ellie Swift's vlogs and she's also pregnant. And I was just like, oh, that's so exciting. And I'm so excited for that phase of mine and Amy's life to start. Like, I just can't wait for that phase, phase to like happen for us. Yeah, I'm definitely in that like clucky stage of life big time It's time to jump on let's start. Hi guys. How are we? Hi. Hi, how was our little two-week break? What did you do with your Wednesday evenings if it wasn't here? <laughs> That's actually very true, Claudia. <laughs> My break was wonderful, thank you. I'm feeling so refreshed. Hi, darling. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling so ready for kickoff on Monday. So excellent. And, and, it know, is. Like, who else would you want to hang out with? Who else like, really? would I want to hang else? out with? Like, what's yeah. the, even the point? Why even get married, have friends, maintain relationships with anyone else outside when I have you guys? We are friends. No, yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> I was talking to my vlog, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. I was desperately trying to explain how I genuinely consider all of you guys actual friends. And like how I can like just, you know, trauma dump, create a life on you guys and you just understand it. Take it. That's all. What? I thought that was your, you announcing it to us then. Happy afternoon, Thursday. Sometime in on Thursday, I am sitting down in our front lounge room. I'm literally sat on the floor, like literally. That's my lunch right here. Um, I'm sat down on the lounge room floor having some lunch. I made a bit of a snack plate. I have some dip here and I just made some like cheese and crackers. These are these little like those soy crisp things. I feel like they're very Australian. These are barbecue shapes. And then I just have a carrot, some celery, cauliflower, and one of Amy's nan's little like chocolate bar things. So good. And then I just dip it all in this. Obviously not the chocolate bar. That would be weird. And yeah, I have finished the first half of my work today. I got up at seven, my new routine. I am flourishing. Yesterday was a little bit out of routine because we had that um, funeral to go to, which was totally fine. That's like the whole perk of being able to set my own schedule is I can make time for those kind of things. And they're important, obviously. But yeah, this morning I was straight back to my routine. It was 7 a.m. Boston was awake for his breakfast. I was like, right, let's get up. We had a shower. I did my hair. And then I sat down to like get some editing on this vlog done. Because if you're not a content creator or if you're not in YouTube, which like some of you are, I know, but some of you aren't. I film probably about seven and a half hours worth of footage for these vlogs. The last vlog that was the one hour one, I think there was nearly 11 hours worth of footage. So I have to comb through every second of that 11 hours to like cut it down and edit it to what it is. So I can't leave that for like one day's event. I have to like edit as I go through the week. Otherwise it's too much for me to handle. Anyway, so that's what I did this morning. And then our masterclass was so freaking amazing last night. I, I was on such a high afterwards. Like everyone was so interactive. They were so engaged. We spoke for nearly two hours. Nearly two hours I had these people on this masterclass for, and we were going through everything. We were helping people niche down. We were clarifying content. We were doing marketing techniques. Like we, we were coming up with content ideas. Like it's just the best community. I can't believe I get to call this like my job. My business is helping these people make content. And it's just like, it was so amazing. Anyway, so I was on like an, a million out of 10 high after my class last night. So that's why I was probably like bounding out of bed, like getting ready, like for work today. Cause I was so keen. Amy has taken Boston out for the afternoon. 
He's gone and hung out with some friends and she's gone to see some people. She's about to come home because she's taking me to the shops and I'm very excited. <laughs> she is taking me to the shops because we're gonna go buy a scrapbook for me. I feel like this is the perfect example of how impulsive I am. I get an idea and I just like have to do it as soon as possible, right? So I sold my sewing machine this morning and I was like okay Amy can we go get one now and she's like bless her soul she's so sweet but she cannot say no to me like sometimes she thinks she's saying no to me because she was like no you have to sell your sewing machine first then we can do it and then here's me less than nine hours later selling the machine to be like okay time to go <laughs> like she thinks that she is just like saying no to me but really she's not so she's like okay I'll go to like my catch up with the puppy and her friends and then I'll come back and I'll pick you up and I'll take you to go get a scrapbook so that's what we're doing this afternoon so she's on her way home now i need to quickly smash this as i'm starving and then we're gonna go get a scrapbook i'm literally standing at the front door stalking amy on find my iphone so i can like jump in the car as soon as she gets here we're back we're back from the shops and we got all the goods. Like we got a whole bunch of stuff. So I forgot to tell you, um, last night when I got the idea, I was like, I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna do scrapbooking. Like this is gonna be me. I went online onto Pinterest and I bought so much stuff. I bought like $40 worth of stuff from like all of these different cute little stores. There was a bunch on Etsy, like a bunch of different things. So they're coming in the mail. So I didn't want to overdo it at Kmart because I knew I had stuff coming. But obviously I needed the book in the first place, right? So we went with this one, which is really Really cute also the one thing I kept from the um, sewing kit were these like gorgeous fabric scissors just because they were really expensive if I'm honest so they're gonna become craft scissors okay so this is the book look how cute it is it has like a little bow to tie up because obviously like with scrapbooking the pages get like thicker and like busier and stuff. So you need to like close the book with this cute little ribbon. I just thought that was so beautiful. So I just went with the white one cause I feel like that's a good backdrop to like start with. Then we got a whole tub for my new craft stuff, which is so exciting. First thing we got is all of this craft paper. It's like multiple different like textured designs, right? Oh, that's so cool. It's like a notepad of them. So like, I will just like rip off whichever one, oh, like that, exactly like that. So that was the cover, that's fine. Like this one is literally just like Kimba wood look, which is so cool. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of those pages in here. And like, check out this one. This is the one that sold me. It's like this beautiful like water print. Like, is that not going to be so cute for like a beach day scrapbook thing? Like, oh, so many ideas. Yeah, and then Amy just wanted to get this cute little paint by numbers. So she got this. That's obviously not for the scrapbook, but then I got this little like glue thing. It's like a, you like, it's like, I don't know. It's glue tape is all I can say. I watched a lot of videos on it last night. Everyone was using this. That will go in there. Then I also got all of these little fun decorative tapes. Like there's just so many different styles. I don't think I'll take it out of the packet because this is just like really handy to like store it in. Amy went out to the shops again. She's just gone to like the butcher to go get us some meat for the week. Now that we have that cool freezer in our garage, we can store lots of meat and stuff so we can buy in bulk. Oh yeah, there's one even up here. Like, look how cute that pattern is. Like, tell me that's not so darling, isn't it? So literally a bunch of tapes, which is so cute. Oh my God, this is my favorite thing. These are stamps. Look how cute it is. They're little flowers. And this one at the top says handmade with love. Like, isn't that so cute and sweet? Like, and it gave me the idea that maybe I'll start like um, hand making cards, like birthday cards, Christmas cards and stuff like that. Like now maybe I can hand make them and like use cute stamp. I don't know. This is just going to be so much fun. Like I'm in my crafting era. I am in my crafting era. I'm so excited. I haven't given up on my last hobby, which was like homemade cooking, like baking from scratch and stuff like that. I am thriving with that at the moment. I love it. Actually, in fact, literally on the bench behind me, I have, um, maybe we'll make it with you guys tomorrow, um, some more bread dough to make. I want to make more scrolls because they turned out so well last time. Okay, seriously, little wooden stamps. That is so cute. 
I'm obsessed. A million percent obsessed. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the last thing, oh, it's just a phone case. Amy wanted a phone case. So there's that. So that's pretty much everything that I got for like now, right? But as soon as my order comes in from online, although it's coming from like a bunch of different places, so maybe I'll wait until they all arrive and then I can show you everything I got because I got a lot. Then we can do like a little scrapbooking session. Although I want to do one now. Like I'm dying to like do the first page. Maybe I can do like a really cute, simple first page. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, Amy just got home from doing the grocery shopping and I was in the middle of like prepping stuff for the scrapbook. So I have a Polaroid camera, right? And I love using it so much, but I never have anywhere to put the Polaroids. And that's when I thought of scrapbooking. I was like, that's where I can put them. I can put them in the scrapbook. So I got out all of the Polaroids I've taken since I got it. And I'm like putting them in piles. So this is our dining room table right now. It's got Polaroid piles literally everywhere but i'm so excited to actually start like using these like this is us at a wedding like oh it's just gonna be so cute like look at how young we looked here so cute anyway so now i'm gonna like spend the rest of the evening going through all these polaroids and like organizing them so i can start scrapbooking with them <laughs> jam-packed day today i'm literally gonna i'm literally gonna show you this what i got up to last night and then i'm gonna clean the house go straight to my tax appointment come home pick up boston go over to my parents-in-law's house to walk their dog visit her nan take her nan to the shops come back home and work like flat out day today but the weather is shining and it's gonna be a good day so last night I did my first couple pages. You would have seen me um, filling them out, but it was just a bit late for me to show you them. So I'm gonna show you now and I'm so proud of them. Just adjust you. So the first one I've left blank because I wanna get a Polaroid of everyone in the family, like me, Amy, Boston and Winston. And I'll do like a little family like front cover. So I've left it blank. And then <clears throat> this was the first page I did. So this one here, so there's pictures of me on the morning of our wedding and then these three pictures are of us at our friends weddings this is family wedding these are two friends weddings and this was a picture of us at a friend's birthday so I like i thought all the celebration photos could go together this is a page with just like me and my family from last year this one's really fun i like use some of the paper that i got yesterday obviously i need to decorate them more right like but i don't have any of my supplies yet so i just did this like cool water paper because these are pictures of me and amy at the beach like paddle boarding and using our kayak and stuff so i thought that was really fun and then I've organized, oh wait, no, there's more. Um, this is a huge double page of Amy's family Christmas. I think the year before last, it was really, really fun. Um, and then this was a trip that we went on to Byron Bay. And I used the um, the paper that looks like floorboards here or like wooden panels because the room that we stayed in had them on the wall. And I thought that was a really fun like nostalgia thing. And then, yeah, and then I've kind of like grouped the remaining Polaroids on the pages that I want to do them on. I cannot tell you how much fun I had doing this last night. I was so happy. I was so like patient and my hands were busy and it was just really, really, really therapeutic. Like it was really fun. And I was like cutting things and sticking things and rearranging things. And then after I finished this, I went online and I ordered more stuff. So I'm going to have a massive amount of stuff. So I better stick to this hobby, right? Because I've already invested like a hundred bucks. Anyway, I was so proud of it that I messaged my friends right and I messaged my two best friends Paige and Danny which you saw me go to dinner with earlier and they were like oh my god that looks so fun we should do one together like we should get together and take some photos so you can have a like do a page of them which I was like I wish I brought it to the trivia night because that would have been such a fun one and then I messaged my other best friend Caitlin 
and I showed her and she was like, oh my God, that is so fun. I used to do that as a kid. And she told me that she went to a scrapbooking class. Like she took a class on it. And I was like, oh my God, I have to sign up for that. I have to do that. I feel like that would be so much fun. So now my TikTok for you page is just like scrapbook after scrapbook after scrapbook and I'm loving it. And yeah, now I'm really like dedicated to remembering to like take my Polaroid camera with me when we go out and go places because I want to be able to make a little scrapbook page and remember it. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not like a hobby hopper. Like I don't get like, you know, an idea for a hobby and then like, you know, or maybe I do. Damn, maybe I do. There was that sourdough phase. It was a camping phase. Damn, maybe I do. But you know what? I don't even care. I really like this hobby. Like really like it. I'm really happy with it. And I, I also posted on TikTok yesterday and everyone was so sweet in the comments. They were like, you did so well. Like, we're so excited for you to try this. Like, we can't wait to see your pages. And I'm just like, you guys are the sweetest people in the world. Like, just them saying like, oh, we can't wait to see what you do. Like, that's so sweet that you would take the time out to see my little arts and crafts project. Like, God, just the sweetest people. Anyway, I wanted to show you that because I was really, really thrilled with it last night. And I can't wait to do more with it so so I need to go and clean the house now because we have our tax appointment in a few hours and I refuse to come home to this place looking as messy as it is BRB while I clean the house and probably while I also go to the tax appointment because that's boring we're even moving now love you too hey guys it's Friday evening it's like I think it's like 9 30 or so <gasps> Boss and I are both quite tired. So I did end up going over to my parents-in-law's place this afternoon. Um, Amy's nan is house sitting there. So we go over and walk the dog every couple days just to give her some exercise and check in on nan. And I did take Boston, but he was just like way too boisterous walking with the other dog, Sasha. So I had to drop him back in the backyard for a run around and a play. And I just took Sasha for a walk by herself. So that's why I didn't vlog any of it because it was just too full on with Boston and the other dog, Sasha. It was like too much going on. Anyway, then I got home and it was already dark. So I just quickly made some dinner and then watched some TV and I'm already in bed now. Amy's not home yet. She actually went out to the movies and to dinner with a few of her friends. She went to go see that new Colleen Hoover movie, which is the, I think it's called It Ends With Us. I think that's what ends with us. Is that it? Yeah. Um, I haven't read the books and I didn't want to go see the movie only because I know that from the previews and like a bit from TikTok that there is like some DV and stuff in that movie and although I really like true crime and stuff I just didn't think that watching that movie was going to be for me. I think since leaving my old job I'm pretty like sensitive or cautious to exposing myself to that kind of stuff because it is intense and it is triggering and I just didn't think that that was going to be like an enjoyable movie for me to watch anyway so I was like maybe you go see that by yourself or like with your friends I'll just stay home so I've just been relaxing tonight <gasps> In all honesty, I've been like sitting on TikTok scrolling through hundreds and hundreds of different like scrapbook pages and like getting ideas and stuff. And now I just came into bed and I put on that documentary, um, Athlete A. It's on Netflix. It's at least on my Netflix, Australian Netflix. And it's about the USA gymnastics team. And I think it's Dr. Larry Nassau, Nassau um, who was like, who was like assaulting the girls when they were competing and stuff which I guess is pretty similar to the movie I don't know there was just something about the previews of that movie the trailer of that movie that just like made me panic a bit like I was just like I don't think that I can sit down and watch like a dramatization of I don't know I don't know maybe I'm reading too much into it maybe it's not that bad but I just don't want to find out so yeah now I'm sitting at home watching a doco on it I don't really know how that's any different but that what the doco is about and what the movie are about are two different things but they're in like the same category I guess of like topic <laughs> anyway today was just really full on so I didn't get to vlog as much but that's okay because tomorrow I think is going to be a really fun day I'm still figuring out what our plans are exactly but I think they're going to be really fun so I will see you guys then come here come here come here good boy oh good morning say hi to the vlog good morning hi not the food happy saturday morning guys we just got back from the farmer's market amy woke up this morning she's yeah. like oh hi that's you got a lot to say hey um yeah she got up this morning she was like i really want to go to the farmer's market because it was on it's a saturday morning the sun is shining uh, 
So we went and we obviously got some nice bread. This is like white sourdough bread. This was our little farmer's market bag. And then we got some fresh spring onions, some fresh baby carrots, because we're gonna roast them up, which are really good. And then I got some um, daikon radish, because with this and the spring onions, I'm gonna attempt to make my own kimchi, which I'm really excited about. Oh, and we also got this little baby green and like red capsicum. And then Amy went to the farmer's market because she wanted this, which is granola. It's like homemade granola. She's still making hers, but she wanted a break. So that's why she got this. And then I went to this really cute store and picked out this. It's a little mug with brownie, like, like brownie, what's it called? Brownie in a mug mixture. So, and like I can make it in this mug, which I just thought was really, really cute. So yeah, I got that and that was our little haul from the farmer's market. Okay, so I've actually changed into shorts now because the weather is so nice today. And this afternoon's activity is we're going to the beach, literally in the middle of winter in Melbourne. But it's such a nice day and my brother has a dog as well, which we've not met before. He's not a puppy, I don't think. I think he's like a year old, um, but we've not met him before. And they really want to meet Boston as well. So I was like, okay, the weather's going to be amazing on Saturday. Why don't we all get together and go to the beach and like hang out with the dog so i'm just packing boston's little bag this is my ella and earth bag i think i've showed you guys this bag before this is not sponsored amy bought this for me and what it is it's a water bottle bag right so like it's like so perfect and it's it's insulated on the inside so it like keeps your water bottle cold it's so perfect for those like active days like when you just need to like if you're going for a walk or like it's my walking bag with boston even if i'm like meeting up with friends and going for a walk it's the perfect bag and like this pocket here my phone fits in literally perfectly let me show you because it's that good just fits in there and then in this pocket here i put boston's little treats and it's just the perfect bag i even clipped his little like um poo bags onto this bag here because it just works so freaking well so i'm packing that now to go to the beach i guess i can leave my phone in there can't i he was in the vlog before <laughs> who's so excited for the beach <laughs> i can't tell who's more excited boston or amy really <laughs> oh, boom, boom, boom. Hey! Oh, look at his little bag. I know. He's so cute. Hi, Baba. Who's that? What's that? Yeah. Hi, darling. What's this? Hi. Hello. I love you. I know, guys. He's 15 and a half kilos. Amy took him to the vet for his last lot of shots, and he is 15 and a half kilos. And he's not even four months old. Guys. Hi, Boston. This is what I wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fill this up because we're gonna bring like a little water bottle or water bowl, I guess, for Boston with us because he's gonna get thirsty. And then I'm also gonna pack my Polaroid camera because me and my brothers don't get to see each other as much as we should. My oldest brother has an entire family. My middle brother also works like a lot. So it's kind of hard to get together. So when we get together, I always wanna try and like take photos and stuff. And especially now that I am scrapbooking. Like yesterday, I forgot to tell you, I was doing a house clean with Amy and I was going through our like drawers on our desk, which is like where all our files are. And I found all of these photos, right? There was photos from like before Amy and I were even engaged there was photos from our trip to Europe like there was ones there was photos from my friends like bachelorette party and she was married like six years ago there was photos from my bachelorette party the cruise and I was like oh my god these are so amazing these are so amazing I'm gonna use them for the scrapbook so I collected them all up and now I'm like convinced I have to bring my um, Polaroid camera with me literally everywhere I go so I can take photos so I can scrapbook with it and guys I also ordered more scrapbook supplies off Amazon I think it was last night but I didn't tell Amy that I ordered them so we're just gonna pretend like it's all in the same order. Can you whisper it? No. What are you whispering about? Nothing. I was just talking scrapbook techniques with the vlog. Oh, really? Stuff you wouldn't be interested in, oh, you know. I was talking about how much extra spending you <laughs> How did you know? Anyway, we've got Boston's little beach bag day out packed. I've got this that I'm bringing with me as well. I think I just might put it on a strap, actually. Bear with me. Honey, I just found more Polaroids. Oh my God. They're from the wedding. Guys, I just found all of these Polaroids. It's from our wedding weekend. I literally, in that pile that I found the other day, I only had one Polaroid of me getting ready on the wedding morning. And I was like, I'm sure we took so many more. There is so many here. Oh my God. Look guys, it's me in my dress and that's Paige next to me. I'm dying. I'm actually dying. I can't wait. Oh my God. 
god look at all my girls this is Paige, danny and caitlin all sitting around that's my dress hanging up in the background this is the best scrapbooking is the greatest thing i've ever done oh my god look at amy and i at our welcome dinner look at that oh if you have been following since the um tiktoks of our wedding last year nearly a year ago now um you'll know that we had a whole like wedding weekend like it was quite the affair okay well obviously we're gonna have to do another scrapbooking session with all of these i'm so glad we found these this is so much fun okay we need to get ready because it's we need to literally leave in like 10 minutes brb you ready to go to the beach come here ah, 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 ah. Boston. Boston's going to the beach has there ever been a dog more ready to go to the beach? Hey darling, we're at the beach. This is Bruce, my brother's dog. Who's Bruce that? Bill. No brain boost. <laughs> You're making new friends. How good looking is that dog? Boston. Hello. Hey. Good boy, Brucey. Yeah. Hey guys, look. It's like nine o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night. I don't even know on Saturday. Yeah. We've just made cheese toasties. That's going to be our dinner for tonight. I love our Saturday nights. Tonight was so <laughs> much fun. Like not tonight, today. Today was so much fun. Mm. We just all like really relaxed at the beach. Like the weather was amazing. The dogs had the best time. And I just like, I miss hanging out with my family so much when we're together. And I just wish that we would did it. We did it more regularly mm. because we all had such a good time. Yeah. And now we've just come home this afternoon or this evening and we've just like been yeah. Snoozy on the couch and just been the best yeah. like Sunday night as well. We like we washed Boston in the shower, so now he's all cozy and warm. And yeah, we're all just like very snoozy after today. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> I will see you guys in the morning on Sunday. Who's the grumpiest dog on a Sunday morning? Hey, Boston. Can you look at me? Or are you grumpy? Boston. <laughs> Why are you having a tantrum? Happy Sunday, guys. Boston and I have been, been sitting in bed all morning. Amy, if you're watching this, please forgive me. I just let him up this one time. It's never happened before. I'll never let him on the bed again. But look how cute he is. So snoozy this morning. Anyway, happy Sunday, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. I am editing it now. That's what I've been doing all morning in bed. That's why me and Boston are just like snuggling all morning. And it's actually been so much fun to watch about. There's so much more scrapbook content to come. I have enjoyed this hobby so much. And like this week, all of my parcels will arrive. So I promise I will like, oh. Do you guys hear that? He's seeing the birds out the window and he's like growling at them. You need to be nice. You gotta be friendly. Make friends with the birds. We like birds. Birds are friends. Come here. I love you. I love this puppy. Anyway, so. <laughs> Boston. Anyway, so yes, lots more scrapbook content to be coming. My packages will arrive this week, so I will obviously unbox them and like do some more scrapbooking with you guys. I didn't think I was going to get to another one hour vlog this week. I didn't think that was going to be possible, but I feel like we're pretty close. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I think I'm going to pick up next week's vlog tonight. So you're literally just going to get like back to back days. Like I vlog from, it's supposed to be from Monday to Saturday. So I get Sundays off, but like lately I have just been like finishing the vlog this morning on a Sunday morning and then starting the next vlog Sunday night. Like, I just have so much fun. I can't stop. I just have so much fun. Anyway, I gotta go because I gotta edit this and get this vlog up. I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Oh my God, we nearly forgot highs and highers. Well, Boston, take it away. What were your highs this week? Obviously the beach. 
the beach trip was definitely your high. I think also the beach trip was my high. Seeing my brothers was so much fun and we just like had really good quality time together. But my higher is definitely starting scrapbooking. I think that's going to be my higher for like a while. Anyway, okay, we've got to go. I will see you guys next week. Love you. Bye-bye.